Hey everyone, Senraikai here. Today we're going to be watching the fourth episode of So So No Free Run. Last episode was really good because we got to see the magical progress that Farron herself has made. Got to showcase how valuable she is, how useful she is to Free Run. Not the like not like getting in her way or whatever. She's a properly trained up mage and very helpful for Free Run, like a good partner, make a make a good duo. Get to have a lot of fun here and there. Like, uh, outside of the adventuring stuff, get to eat sweets together, brush each other's hair, all sorts of girly stuff, you know, very sister-like stuff in some cases. But just having a good time, having fun, it's kind of the same thing, but you know, we got to battle a monster together, save some people, it, it, it's good, it's all good. So, yeah, let's jump on to episode 4 and see how things go. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and support me on Patreon for early access and to help me keep doing this sort of thing. And let us begin, if I can find my cursor, in three, two, one, play. And as always, we start with our opening. And I got my water. I definitely am curious when red haired guy is gonna show up. Cause that'd be okay if that's like not for a while. And I'll be more than okay with it just being free run and fair for a few more episodes. But he's prominent enough in the opening that he's definitely gonna be a big deal. He's gonna be a main cast member. Also looking forward to what looks like an evil elf showing up. Twenty-eight years later, blah blah blah. The Grand Ch Channel located Central Lands. Yeah, it's just a mess. And everybody's lazy. <laughs> I bet we can use a magic to to help. Because some of that stuff would be difficult to deal with, such as like the shipwreck the boats and whatnot. Spells, I take it. <laughs> Fla flame. Like you think this is good enough? I guess it is. I guess it's, it's some compensation better than none. <laughs> Head pat. Head pat. Nah. Yeah, that's why she has to do anything else. Because this is, this is not good. But... Like, we're going to be here a while, aren't we? Red. Omake, thank you. Arigato. Yeah, that's no, uh... Makes it clear just how cold it is right now. The snow is actually pretty well animated. Padima. <laughs> oh, free run. I mean, it's just mostly books. You could clean that up in like a minute. <laughs> POB, you're, be you're being woken up by, by, by fan. More hairbrushing. 
I she <laughs> Okay. Oh. Apparently she just has a as a maid. <laughs> her name is Farron, and she's good at it, good at it, good at her job. <laughs> I'm not sure she's still awake. She's <laughs> Maybe she has a big sister. <laughs> I would not want to be out there. <laughs> not me. I'm I'm definitely getting those vibes. And if you need a break from these tasks, I'll I'll take I'll 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 I'll, I'll substitute. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that we saw Farron as like a child when the show first started and now she's like <laughs> the responsible one <laughs> I mean when you have a cute elf girl with you you just you deal with her <laughs> it is it's, again if free run was a part of my party i would put up with pretty much anything in regards to her to have her around you you don't even know if i had to dress her every morning if i had to brush her hair if i had to clean up her room no no problem <laughs> Don't talk to me while I meet him. So we have a bit of a time limit then. <laughs> she 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 has a point. <laughs> Love you, free run. Love you so much. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> she looks so excited that to find a chest that doesn't bite her. Oh, that's a pretty badass shot. Oh wow, we we actually made great progress. Took me a second to notice the lack of something there. <laughs> that's how it goes for dramatic effect. Yeah, so I'm like some big, really big YouTuber. She cleans up a beach just for the kindness of it. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> I hope we one day get to see the media shower with, with Farron. They'd probably be near the end of the series if they were going to do that. <laughs> Poor hi hi to <laughs> Don't mess up the narrative. Yeah. You don't know unless you try, though. Wake up, free room. Yeah, she's supposed to say it. Wake. 
<laughs> I'm way too young to be your mother. <laughs> Aww. Mommy, I don't want to go for a walk today. Oh, there it is. It is actually quite beautiful. And she's awake. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. It's a decent. It wasn't worth it, though. <laughs> is she really into it? <laughs> we get to watch the sunrise together. Another romantic scene. We can check that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that does help, for sure. Also another romantic line. <laughs> oh, that was such a nice scene. Another Opi reference. I was just kidding. I think he's praying. Not, you know, it's kind of obvious. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> and thus, people will argue about it. <laughs> Just believe what's convenient for you. That would be nice. I mean, the sad thing about life is not everything that should exist does, but he is right, it should exist. Ah, uh, the age, it's really catching up to him. <laughs> We're meeting back up. I was hoping we'd see Aizen again. <laughs> It's just 30 years, man. Don't exaggerate. I'm glad Farron gets to meet him, at least. I don't think she got to meet him. All. <laughs> Got pen pals over here. Oh, she was bowing. Okay, I was like, is she sick over there? If she's calling something a long time, it's been a long time. <laughs> Oh, well, that was rude. <laughs> that was funny, though. Yeah, okay, he was mentioned earlier with the fake grimoire. Oh. <sighs> Her. <laughs> they're 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 her a lot. 
Why are we getting a pouty face by a fairy and she feel left out? <laughs> what are you? What, what, what's up? Well, now she met Farron, so she's a changed woman. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, dang. This is supposed to be an old guy. Because then he mentioned he couldn't swing an axe, and that was like 30 years ago. <laughs> what is that sleeping posture? Right. Okay, that was a missing piece. Thank, thank you. Okay, yeah, that would be that would be great if we could do that. Because he already had a bit of a false thing with the uh, Heiter and the stuff that he had her interpret. It being about resurrection and stuff, immortality, but. But that was obviously false. But if it's legit, yeah, that'd be great. Powerful barrier. Thousand years, so she is quite old. Oh, this is the flashback. Okay, I think I recognized her from the opening <laughs> when she was so young back then. <laughs> uh, we're head patting free run. She always told people not to head pat her. So she was Flyman, the legendary mage. Okay, it's all coming together. That explains why she would know her so well. I mean, this seems pretty legit. Your best student. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, convenient. <laughs> she knew. She knew you well. I would love to see more. I would love to see more of her. More flashbacks. Oreo, Oreo, Oreo. Oh.
en ende. Almost looks like a, almost looks like a Dark Souls location. <laughs> Is that gonna be our next big task? Chat with Himmel. <laughs> it's all things to the corrupt priest or whatever they call him. <laughs> you must go. Uh, sleeping on his shoulder. <laughs> I don't want to go. Probably. He's wearing a jacket, we'll be fine. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Wake up. Oof. Oh, that pillow. Wow, Freebird knows, knows what she's doing. She's the best. Could not ask for a better she show. <laughs> She's dragging her along. <laughs> oh, that's not true. She literally got you a present last episode. Very true. <laughs> Look at her just happily sleeping on the best pillow. So he was around and even brought that up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely depressing talk. He knows him well. Corrupt priest, that's what it was, yeah. Yeah. He's the best. Your Shisho, your master, just sleeping on your lap. Smile on her face. The Willy region. Should I be taking notes? That is a long time. A big commitment. Oh yeah, that does look pretty cold. <laughs> pretty brutal.
and on the road again. <laughs> Another mere 10 year adventure. My cat would not shut up about wanting to let be let inside. And plop, plop, there you go, plop down. Powerful warrior. Phantoms of the dead. Okay, that, uh, that was the fourth episode of So So No Free Run. But yeah, this episode definitely seems like the, like the, uh, the real start of the show with everything before this being a bit of a prologue kind of so yeah this episode we have a concrete goal to actually go to end day i think they called it so <laughs> that's so yeah basically the, the show started with uh free ren and the gang having finished our adventure and all that so we didn't get to see it it was just kind of a piece of history and now it seems like we're going to be able to actually see that kind of journey with free run again with different people. So, so, that's, so that's pretty cool. You know, another mere 10 year journey. But this time she gets to be with, uh, gets to be with Fern. So pretty cool stuff. But the episode itself, you know, we got more great free run, fair, fair uh, interactions, right? We got to clear up the beach. We got to see the sunrise together, which was a really nice scene that I that I thoroughly enjoyed. We got, I mean, what else happened before we met up with our dwarf? Anything worth noting? Uh, well, I just enjoyed all the like m mom ish stuff, you know, where like free run is just, <laughs> you know, she doesn't seem very responsible. Doesn't seem very well. Doesn't like. Uh, doesn't really feel like she's got things together you know i don't know what the best way to describe it is but basically at some point she just like fell off her bed sleeping on the floor does, doesn't want to get up I, like just the fair has to help her with such basic basic things you know but it's it's really funny to, to to watch but the beach looked much better and we did get to reunite with our best buddy the dwarf and i was actually because i did comment before i think about not being able, not having done much with him compared to the other adventurers, like post adventure. But I said we met, we met up with him. We got uh, he was basically a lead to the Flame, the legendary mage uh, writings to, to to go look for, and we got a couple big reveals. The one of which being that that Flame person was like the Shisho, the master for for free run, right? So that's a a really cool revelation to have. So she would know her pretty well. And we also, supposedly, like, this is going to be, like, our connection to be able to commune with the dead, to be able to communicate with him. All that was kind of what they were, what they were talking about. But we got a, we got a long way ahead of us. Unfortunately, a lot of cold weather, it seems like. Free, free run, not a, not a big fan of any of that. But they definitely had some fun, funny moments with Farron. Like, she just, like, if it was a long time for free run, it must be, like, prehistoric, you know? <laughs> Even though I don't think she's that old. Like, she's at least a thousand years old. I don't think she's much older than that, really. 
but I did like that. Uh, I don't know why I sometimes remember the dwarf's name. Like it just, it's just not sticking with me, no matter how much I look at it. Hey, Aysen, Aysen. Yeah, Aysen. Obviously, he knew Free Ren back in the day, so it's good to get his perspective to see how much Free Ren has changed because she definitely has. You know, especially considering how long of a lifespan she has. The amount that she has changed since then is pretty, pretty significant. But yeah, that transition when we first trans when we first transitioned to the flashback showing Flame. I really, it really kind of really took me a second. Because they actually did make Free Ren look younger. I don't know what it is about the drawing that makes her look younger, but somehow she does. I'm trying to pinpoint why she seems younger. Because she doesn't look that different. Maybe just because of how much skin she's showing. I don't know why that would be the case. Or I, I, do, prefer, I do prefer her hair uh, from back there. You know, just a straight, long, down hair. I've always kind of preferred that. For the most part, but it was definitely nice for like getting to see her her younger self. But I would love to see more of Flamia though, and even if it was just flashbacks. But oh yeah, and I'm in the wagon ride, uh, free run sleeping, eventually making her way to Fern's lap. You know, laying on her lap while while um. Aysen basically asked her if she's been a good master or not, but she has. Like, Fern obviously has been kind of thinking about how much Firen doesn't care about her, how, like how hanging, being with her is more or less an obligation. What she really cares about is her, is her, co is her old comrades. That's her real focus. You know, she only takes care of her, you know, stays with her because it was a request of one of her old comrades. So, a little bit of, so, so there's a little bit of that, but. I do think she cares about her more than she realizes. We had a lot of her t calling her weird and stuff there. And she does acknowledge like the present given and stuff like that. So I think to some degree she understands that she has kind of become a bit of an important person to Free Ren. Free Ren's obviously our aut autistic little elf. She's not best at expressing that sort of stuff. But I think we've had enough context clues to understand that she does care about Farron a decent amount. I mean, even during the freaking sunrise scene, like she says something about how it's good because she's because of her smiling or whatever. I don't remember, remember exactly how she phrased it, but like, it's pretty clear that she that she likes you. I, I think that's a fair a fair a fair assessment. But and the show's really just starting. We have plenty of time left to spend together. But the more I think about it, the more I am convinced this really was like the end of the prologue because we got this. The touch base with all three of her adventuring comrades after the adventure at different points and get a little bit of closure with each one of them as, as much as she could. And now she has a more concrete goal other than just wander around and looking for spells because that's what I knew it would happen at some point. Like, unless you want to be a really slice of life style kind of show, you can't just keep doing that forever. You got to get some kind of real concrete goal. I just wasn't sure what it was because we already defeated the Demon King, you know? So, what exactly would you have? Con concrete goal wise in this kind of show but i mean we have it we have a destination to go to we have a goal that we're working towards and it's going to take a while to do it we got farron as our comrade i'm sure red haired boy is going to show up at some point and join the group and we'll be able to just l learn a lot on the way develop friendship learn life lessons and all that good stuff but yeah something to look forward to so thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video until then, bye-bye.